G'day guys, it is Cracker Fruity and I am playing some Borderlands 2. Uh, let's see how this intro goes. But you're not. Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. Yes, they certainly do know how to make an intro, don't they? Uh, now, I am a latecomer to Borderlands, that most of you would have noticed. It's been all over YouTube over the last couple of days, and that is the very reason why I have got it. I did actually get the original Borderlands, uh, or certainly had it for a while anyway, and, um, and I did play it a fair bit, but I don't know, there was just something about it that didn't quite do it for me, uh, except for that intro. I mean, wow, how good was that intro? Probably one of the coolest intros to to any game I can remember, but uh, yeah, anyway, moving on, I uh, was was in two minds whether or not to get Borderlands 2, I decided that I would not get it, simply because I didn't uh, didn't like the first one enough, uh, when I got the first one, it was myself and a friend uh, that lived with me at the time, we played split screen, and, uh, and it was an enormous amount of fun for a while, we ran around, loads of loot, um, you know, it, it, w it was different, the, the graphics were all different, their style, their artistic style of graphics was different, and that was kind of cool, that was, that was good. But, uh, I don't know, I, ca I can't remember how many hours we got into it, and we did invest a few, um, but we didn't finish the game, we just kind of lost interest in it. I don't know, just something about it. I can't explain what, but it uh, just didn't quite do it for me. Um, so that was the reason why I decided not to get Borderlands 2. 
However, I've been watching some of the YouTube videos it has been floating around, uh, as well as, as hearing some of the, the reviews on it, or certainly opinions on it, and I thought, you know what, stuff this. I'm just going to get it. Even though I am a few days late doing it, I got it today. Uh, today is Sunday. I ducked out this morning. I thought, bugger, I'm just going to buy the board. And uh, so far, I'm really glad I did. I'm actually really glad I did. Th this guy here, this little, this little fella, he's, he's annoying. He's annoying. When he talks, I, I want to shoot him. And sometimes I do. But anyway, Claptrap. That's, that's his name. Stupid little Claptrap. Anyway. Listen to him. Sh dude, shut up. Seriously, just shut up. That's all I could hear at the start of the game. And I, I doubted my commitment. But, uh, but I did move on. I pushed forward and I'm really happy I did. So I'm going to start off with a couple of things that I find positive or some good points about the game. First of all, there is the level design. I really like the level design. I think it's it so far seems to be a huge improvement over the first one, which could at times look a little bit drab, a little bit grey or brown or just, just a little bit boring. They seem to have spiced it up a little bit. Uh, and even even the snow missions, which uh, well, missions are called, you know, the snow levels, uh, which you would expect to be a little bit boring looking. I don't know. They just seem to have found a way to to add to the colours or the depth or something, just make it feel a little bit better than it did to begin with. And I think that's probably going to be a challenge due to the artistic, as it were, uh, look of the game. Multiplayer is the next point that I think is uh, a big improvement over the first one. Yes, you could. Multiplayer split screen in the first game, which was fantastic. It was great to be able to have a split screen game, considering that uh, these days it is it is increasingly uh, rarer, I suppose, to to find games that have split screen multiplayer. Uh, the original one did have it, however, you couldn't go online with it. It was an offline feature only. So much to my delight, when I uh, invited a buddy to come around today and try out the game. We were able to split screen the game, multiplayer, and also jump online with, with a friend who also picked it up today um, based on my recommendation. So I was hoping that he was going to enjoy it, but I think he is. Uh, yeah, but and it was dead simple as well. Uh, myself and my buddy that was here, we started playing it, um, got, got through a little bit, and uh, we invited him in, him in, and it was dead easy. It was a simple matter of pushing the start button, and... Uh, Inviting the friend in, he came, loaded up the screen, no dramas, straight into it, and he just uh, he spawned in at our last spawn point, I suppose, checkpoint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I think that was fantastic. They also seem to have improved the monster AI. Uh, in the last one, they could be a little bit docile, a little bit stupid, uh, and on top of that, there, there was just a lot of the same in in the original Borderlands. There just seemed to be a lot of the same monsters or creatures or whatever you want to call them coming at you. Especially those, uh, what were they called? Skags, I think they were. Well, I just remember there being hundreds of these damn things. They were everywhere. Uh, and I have noticed already, uh, having pushed through, as I say, about the first four hours of the game, um, th there doesn't seem to be that. There's a mixture of... Uh, some of the ones I recognise from the original, uh, and some of the ones I don't, but it, it's a decent mix. Obviously there is a huge amount of guns, as there was in the last game, but there's even more this time. There just seems to be endless amounts of weapons you can pick up, uh, which is always fun. Plenty of loot around, there's always plenty of creatures to kill, the creatures drop the loot, uh, and, and obviously the level design itself also includes a heap of loot. So if, if what you really liked about the first one was just running around, getting the kills, getting the loot, finding all the different guns and stuff, you, you certainly won't be disappointed by this one. Right, well that'll just about do me on reviewing the game. I haven't uh, exactly finished it, I got too deep into it. They're, they're just my first impressions, uh, things I've noticed myself. Uh, so yeah, from where I'm going to go from here uh, with this, I'm not going to do the usual playthrough uh, where I just sort of include every part of the, of the campaign and things like that. I think... Uh, I think people should discover that for themselves. This is obviously the first part, which I think uh, it will be handy for anyone who hasn't played the game or perhaps is wondering if they're going to like the game. Uh, this is just the very first part of the game as you load in, uh, as I'm getting going, before I actually uh, met up with my friends, um, things like that. But yeah, what I'm going to do from the series from here on out, I'm just going to pick random snippets, probably probably multiplayer bits with uh, with my friends on board. Uh, just get some some commentary and stuff like that because I think as fun as this game is by yourself 
really its strong point is its multiplayer. Um, that's not to say you can't play it by yourself, you certainly can, and it is still a load of fun by yourself, but I think if you're really going to get the most from this game, the most from your dollar, uh, you should try and do it with, with buddies, with friends, mates, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you should definitely, definitely do that, because it is a load of fun, uh, and it just does seem to enhance the fun when there is a few of you. Speaking of that, uh, they have seemed to have balanced the creatures relatively well. I think it, there's a definite noticeable difference in in difficulty when more people join in. Uh, a couple of times when I had the other two in there with me, therefore I, there was three people out of a possible four. Uh, when the other two were in and they were dead or um, you know, coming back from the respawn or whatever, I definitely noticed that the creatures were a lot more challenging with them in it than with them out. And when finally they left at the end of the day, um, I continued playing just for a little bit longer, and again, I, it was a noticeable difference. I think it's pretty well balanced, and yeah, if, if you don't play as a team, if you're just playing with randoms or uh, or with, with not very helpful friends or not very good friends, you're going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting, and when you do that, you can burn through a little bit of ammo. We, uh, we did have a few initial ammo issues, um, but they're... They're pretty easily resolved fairly early on in the game. But, uh, yeah, so with with my series, going back to that point I was trying to make a few minutes ago, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do the typical playthrough showing every part, just going to show random snippets and stuff like that. If anybody has any questions about the game, anyone that doesn't have it or is thinking about having it, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I do read all of my comments, and I try and reply to all of them if I can. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to play this game. I think I really enjoy it. So hopefully some of you will stick around to see where it goes. I'll uh, probably have some of the usual suspects playing with me. Uh, probably Bister Bilson, or just Bilson, as well as Shep will be joining me for a chat. So do feel free to hit subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. <laughs>